today. We're in South Richmond Hill, Queens, and we'll be exploring Little Guyana, an area hardly known to most New Yorkers. We'll be eating, drinking, and shopping at an intersection of culture, from West Indian to Caribbean and more. Let's put this neighborhood on the map. Today's guest was a TV host in her native Guyana, and today she's a proud New Yorker. A lot of people often confuse Guyana with Ghana. Like when I tell them I'm from Guyana, they're like, Ghana, right? I'm like, no, Guyana. And then I have to tell them that this country is actually neighbor to Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname, and a very fun fact, Guyana is actually the only English-speaking country in South America. So a lot of people often ask me, how is your English so good? Well, then I have to remind them of that fact. <laughs> Tanya, I think something that's very interesting is that the Guyanese are the fifth largest foreign-born population in New York City at 140,000. That's correct, John. And Guyanese are actually the second largest foreign-born group here in Queens, right after the Chinese. Which is something that I think many people would be extremely surprised about. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely the case. So I'm really happy that we're doing this right now so people have a great idea of Little Guyana and Guyana and just how much this country and neighborhood has to offer. Anytime I want Guyanese Chinese food, this is the place that I come to. I either come here to eat or I order. Um, that's because it's just so flavorful. Because we're so uh, used to a lot of flavor. So the Chinese in our country actually tailored the food to suit us. And it's super, super packed with flavor. John, I'm so excited to have you try this today. Um, we're gonna have the chicken lo mein. Hope you enjoy. I'm sure I will. I've actually had Chinese Spanish infusion before in the Upper West Side. It was a Cuban Chinese fusion, which was really good. So I'm excited to try the Chinese Guyanese fusion. It should be interesting. Oh, Thank you so much. My God. Enjoy. So First bite ever of Guyanese chicken lo mein. I am, we're both salivating right now. Let me try this. I mean, I have to say this tastes nothing like the American style Chinese food that you would expect for chicken lo mein. So much flavor from the chicken. Even the lo mein is completely different than what I'm used to. Just the, the sauce on top. I love discovering different cultures in New York City. You guys have no idea. I've never been to Little Guyana before, but we are off to one heck of a start with this amazing chicken lo mein, some of the best rum in the world. Wow. We could just end the video right now and I would I would sleep well tonight. We've got a lot more to go, trust me. Mm. Exactly how much flavor I was expecting. So rich, so delicious, so different than regular American Chinese. This is actually the El Dorado 15 year old rum. It has won the gold medal for a consecutive year. So it's kind of known as the best rum in the world. Taste it, should I taste it? You got it. Best rum in the world. A little strong for you though, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I love rum. For the record. <laughs> I love rum. I could just drink this straight. Yeah. I'm I don't gonna put some coke in there. <laughs> I don't think it personally needs a, a chaser. No, that's better. Rum and coke, guys. You have to try it. <laughs> it looks hot. You can take a smell. It smells so good, though. What's, what's it called? It's pepper sauce. It smells good, but how does it taste? It's really, really spicy. I dared myself to try a little bit of the pepper sauce, and everyone's warning me, including the waiter, to be careful. I'm going to put a little tiny bit on my plate. I don't know if that was too much. I think this is enough. Let me try it. See, when it gets to your throat, ooh. How are you? <laughs> it's hot. I mean, no, no denying that I need a drink every time I. It just gets hotter and hotter as it goes down. Here we go. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's like really normal to me. <laughs> So you're saying that I just, I have no tolerance at all for heat. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to say. I'm so sorry, but it was really not hot. <laughs> you're laughing at me. Wow. I've got a lot of work to do. What is your favorite thing about being from Guyana? 
Our motto is actually one people, one nation, one destiny. So I'm really, really proud that a country with so many different cultures could live in such peace, love, and unity. So definitely, that's what I'm most proud of. Something we're definitely trying to work towards in this country as well. You're, te you're teaching us some Guyanese Creole. What else you yeah, got? Yeah, so we go in on the car, and I mean, we're going in the corner, and I could be like, yo, what's up, bye? What's up, bye? That's what's up, boy? I'm pretty or good. You can you? tell me what's up, gal? What's up, gal? Gal. All right, gal. <laughs> yeah, that's a girl. <laughs> How do you say I love New York in Guyanese Creole? I like New York. <laughs> Liberty Avenue when you hear that so if you want to find Liberty Avenue just listen for that and yeah you know where you are oh I hear it so now we're in a, a little market where you can find a lot of great Guyanese groceries um, you know like fresh fruits fish and snacks so as soon as you walk in we've got um, salsa you call this salsa or chicken foot? Chicken foot? Yeah, because it resembles the feet of chicken. Okay. So they call it chicken foot. So this is basically made with like seasonings and peas. It's very delicious. Okay. Pineapple soda, yeah. This, is, this is really, this. really good. Yeah? So yeah, you should try it. This one's nice. All right guys, pineapple oh, soda, we're gonna buy this. The hot pepper sauce that we actually tried at the hibiscus restaurant. A very staple product that we use in Guyana. It's called the Casa Reap. Okay, so this is basically a cooking utensil. We actually put this in a pot and we go like this. <laughs> that's, that's how you use it. That looks it. like a lot more work. I mean, but we're used to it and the old fashioned way is always the best way. Tomboy, Guyana West Indian pineapple soda. It reminds me of the Jamaican soda I've had, like almost the same thing, super, super sweet. And Tanya insisted I get some salsa. Hard to describe. Like salty. And you told me there was a, a kind of a pea flavor. Even a little spicy at the end too. It's like lentils. Like lentils? Yeah. Actually a lot spicier than I thought. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, here you go. <laughs> so this reminds me of Jackson Heights Queens, but instead of Latino, it's got a, a Caribbean flair. Everything is loud and bright here. We actually have a large population from Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname as well, and a few from like Jamaica, Barbados, and other parts of the Caribbean. So a really eclectic mix. Yeah, definitely, but the culture is so rich and ties in very well with ours. This is called a sari. It's actually a long piece of, piece of cloth, and you wrap it to look like this. This is like for the males, this is called a porta. <laughs> There's a line at three o'clock on a Thursday. That's how you know a place is good. Where'd you go? Where <laughs> I'm right here. Roti with uh, potato curry. What we got was a roti with aloo or potato curry. Roti. Mm. It's really nice and what I like is it's also vegetarian. I know a lot of you out there say that I eat too much meat on the channel. I specifically ordered this thinking of you guys that you know not everything we do has to always have meat with it. But you no, know, just really soft on the outside, chunky pieces of potato, a little spicy, just the way you would expect it. Coconut water, which is frozen. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Refreshing, right? Refreshing and really cold too. Like I know we were actually looking for somebody who was cutting fresh coconuts outside. We didn't find him here, but you know this is the next best thing. I mean, straight out of Guyana. Mmm, that's really good. I love the spices in the curry. It's like really fresh. You can tell that they just grinded the spices or something. Really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's so good. <laughs> so good. It makes you laugh. I don't even know where she's running. so much to eat here so we're just gonna pick on something that's really simple but yet so delicious the chicken patty wash it down with some peanut punch peanut punch i, I can't wait to see what this is it's gonna punch you Trust it's, gonna, me. it's gonna punch me okay yeah. they look amazing 
I mean, I could just see Tanya's eyes as we open this up. She was like, oh my God. And she got 12 of them, so <laughs> I'm only having one. All right, let's, let's take a big bite. Mmm. So soft, so crumbly as you bite into it. And then the minced up chicken. Mmm. Packs a punch, good flavor, a lot of veggies mixed in here as well. Now I, I, I see why she got so many, because I don't know if you could eat just one of these. That's what I told you. You probably need to eat at least three of them at once, but oh my god. Hmm. Jamaican patties, you gotta run for your money here. I don't know what I like more. It's tough. It's so good though. I I love finding new things in my own city I never even heard of before. Mm. Love it. It's the best snack ever. <laughs> the reason why I got so much is I would just like buy these and then put it in a toaster oven. It gets back as crispy as it just came out of the oven. So no microwaving, just toaster oven. So I told Tanya not to tell me what was in peanut punch. She only said that it was very Guyanese. I love peanut butter. I love chocolate milk, milk. I have no expectation here. This is like peanut butter on steroids. It is the most peanutty drink I've ever had before. It's like I'm expecting to find little cut up pieces of peanut somewhere in here. It is super, super sweet and strangely addicting too. Like I like really sweet stuff. If you're not into super sweet, milky drinks, you probably won't like this. Me on the other hand, I love it. Is this popular with kids? I can see kids liking this a lot, right? Yeah, I actually used to have this at almost every lunch break or recess I had. It's something that you would buy um, from the little lady at the stand outside. Um, she would probably make it fresh in the morning and bring it to school. Guys, check out my other neighborhood playlist linked down below. Tanya, thank you so much for being an amazing host here in Little Guyana. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Yes, a goodbye. Yes, a goodbye. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You're a good guy. <laughs> I'm a good guy.